I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, he looks very warm. Yes, you'd be right with that. It's absolutely sweltering outside and I'm sat inside my van doing this video. But aside from that, you're thinking, oh, not another heater blower resistor fix video. Well, yes, it is that. But if you've got a T5 that doesn't have a passenger airbag, then this particular fix might take you a lot less time than you think it will. So stay tuned, keep watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. So far I've only taken three panels off, the end panel, this little panel and this panel here where I think an airbag normally goes and I can actually see down there that's the heater blower resistor down there, you can see the two bolts Just there and there, so I'm wondering if I can get to that without having to take any of this off and all this. It's going to be a squeeze. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Right, what I'm going to attempt to use is a 5.5 milli socket. I'm using this little ratchet screwdriver with a flexi sort of shaft on it. I'm hoping that'll do the trick. He says. It's coming. That drops, where is it going to go? Right down there, it'll be okay. Oh, here it goes, that's one out. Let's try the other one. Well, this one might be a little bit more tricky because of the angle. Um, I can get my hand under there, so I might be able to feed. Oh. Right, I've managed to get the uh, two screws out without taking 35 panels off. It's just now whether I can get that out, uh, put the new one in, and uh, get the screws back in. I don't see any reason why not. That's going to save me a lot of time. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, oh good that comes out really easy. Look at that. Should be able to. Drop that down below the panel. Right. Under here, there it is. Looks a bit manky. But I should be able to get to that now. I should be able to get to that and uh, take it out of its connector. Oh yeah, looks a right mess that one. Right, let's have a look. See that okay? You can just see the clip in there, and then just here and here. There's some, can you see those little clips? Might just have to press them in to 
get it out. All right, let's give it a go. Skin off your knuckles. That side's coming out, the other side isn't. I need a screwdriver. Let's go in. There we go. You can see the clips there. Right, let's compare these resistors. I don't think I need to tell you which is which, do I? What? The one I've bought looks pretty much the same as the other one. So it should be a uh, pretty straightforward swap. Alright, let's get the new one put in. You can see by the shape of the connector there's only one way it'll go in. So there's no getting it the wrong way around. Sounds good. There's my lead. I can feel the. I don't really want to turn that round, twist it, but you can just see, I think. You can see the tabs on the back. So they obviously go into these little tab holes here. So it wants to be that way around. Hopefully that will just click in. We go. That was a nice click. Right. Now we just need to put it back in position and uh, fasten the screws back in. Great. These are the extremes I have to go to to get you some uh, decent video footage. <laughs> Got my torch gaffer taped to the dashboard. Right. Let's get this resistor back in. Just about get through this gap. That seems like it's in position. Houdini's got nothing on me. Right. Not done it fully up yet. Right, I've managed to get the uh, left hand one in and nipped up tight. Just need to tighten this last one. Drive is brilliant. I've had this for about 30 years. And I've only ever used it about five times. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's my torch. Can you still see? Yep. Right. I think we're done. Wow. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Right, here we go. The moment of truth. Will it work? Come on. Oh yes. Number one. Bit of a squeak. Number two. Bit more of a squeak. Number three. Even squeakier. Number four. 
know, why is it squeaky? Well, it's working, but it's squeaking. Hmm. That could get annoying. It sounds like, and it feels like, oops, it's coming from that. I've never noticed it before, when it was on number four. But that might be because it was so loud, the fan, I just couldn't hear that bit. Why is it doing that? because it's not been run it's only been working on number four for so long maybe it's uh, maybe the grease in, maybe there's grease inside the motor has dried up or something don't know how I'm gonna sort that might have to look into that YouTube I need you I'm just gonna leave it running for a bit and see if it clears right, I've left it running for about five minutes can just still hear it. I'm hoping that's going to clear over time, but I'm not so sure it will. Might have to uh, Google that or YouTube it. But for now, I'm just going to have to put up with it. I'll just have to see what it's like when I'm driving. But for now, that'll do. This is a really cheap fix to do and relatively easy, especially if you haven't got an airbag. Uh, these. They're about, they range between 10 and 12 pound, readily available. I'll, uh, I'll put a link down in the description if you want to have a closer look at these and maybe purchase one. And like I say, it's uh, without, without the video in and recording for YouTube, it's probably a 20 minute job if you haven't got an airbag and maybe uh, half an hour to 40 minutes if you have got the airbag because you've got more panels to take off. But the bonus was, um, I watched a few videos on YouTube on how to change this resistor and uh, people were taking this panel, this panel, this panel and then this panel and then you had to take the fuse panel out and then there was about 12, 15 screws and bolts to take out. But luckily, I haven't got a, well, say luckily, <laughs> Yeah, it'd be better if I did have one. I don't have an airbag here, passenger airbag. So I was able to get right inside and uh, get to the heater blower resistor. So if you don't have an airbag, then uh, you can half the time it takes to replace. So I hope that was useful. If it was, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.